Hello, welcome to Touchline with Millennium Magic finally upon us. First up on Saturday in Cardiff, a burgeoning rivalry that should raise the roof. Huddersfield versus Warrington. I think it's great, you know, um, obviously if you look outside now the weather's, the weather's terrible and we're going to put the roof on and keep all the fans dry and it should be a real entertaining game. So yeah, I think the concept's great and builds a lot of, uh, a lot of anticipation for the start of the season. We know uh, we've got uh, a tough opposition in Huddersfield and we've built up a good rivalry with them and we've had some uh, terrific games against them and very entertaining games over the last couple of years. So, you know, we're looking forward to that as a challenge, but, uh, you know, it's always a great, great weekend down in Cardiff and a great carnival atmosphere and, you know, looking forward to it very much. Next up, it's England versus France, Harlequins versus Catalan Dragons. As far as the Quinn's new coach is concerned, there's certainly an entente cordiale. Don't expect it to be après vous, monsieur, on the pitch, though. I know that Trent, assistant coach at Sydney Roosters, but it's going to be hard to know uh, how they're going to play differently. They've got some new players and what have you, so we've just got to concentrate on us and, and uh, hopefully if we prepare well enough, then it shouldn't matter exactly uh, what to expect from them. Expect the Wakefield Wildcats to live up to their name when they face Castleford. They've had a torrid off-season going into administration. We'll roll our sleeves up and we'll have a dig with anybody, believe you or me. We're, we're that type of club and you know I like to think I'm that type of person and the young players that I've got are that type of people. So, uh, you know, if they want it, bring it on and we'll have it. Obviously, what's been happening with Wakefield as well, off the field, um, we know they're going to be ready to play and they've got a hell of a lot of reasons to play well. So. Uh, we've got to make sure we concentrate on our game and um, start the season off well. And I think it's fair to say that top of the bill on Saturday night is the repeat of last year's grand final, Wigan versus St Helens. Uh, well, yeah, there's always adds that little bit of a uh, you know spice to the game, meaning you know the local rivalry that you have, uh, and uh, you know certainly amongst the supporters of both teams, uh, you know it'll, it'll certainly uh, you know raise the uh, raise the attention and the levels of uh, anxiety amongst the fans. Yeah, I think. I think there is definitely from the outside there's a bit more expectation but I think, I think for, the, for ourselves as well there is um, got that, that taste of success last year and winning the trophy so it's probably giving everyone that bit of belief and we're, we're hoping that if we can continue to work hard and improve as a team then we can be involved in another final this year. I mean uh, there's a lot of passion between the two teams, uh, you know, the, the time that I spent at Nosley Road uh, from the first game when we played Saints, uh, they, they really showed the passion between the two teams and I think it's going to be no different this weekend. Last year at Murrayfield Magic, Jared Summit burst onto the Super League scene to great effect for Crusaders. The Salford boss Sean McRae is full of admiration and knows the Welsh side will be desperate to claw their way back into the black after their administration. Now obviously Jared Summit's the player of, of uh, uh, Pretty much, I think he's a great recruit from last year, and I think he's a player that you know they look forward to to getting him to create things sometimes out of nothing, seemingly nothing on, and, and all of a sudden he's got an opportunity to either split you open or put a little kick through or, or throw a magic pass or something. And you know it's imperative for us to have a really positive start and hit the ground running, particularly with the um, you know the four point deduction that that we received. So it's it's important we try and overturn that as quickly as possible. Next up on Sunday afternoon, two sides with old grudges and new coaches. Leeds and Bradford have both dominated Super League in their day. Can they once again? They've had, a, uh, I mean, they've had an incredible run, yeah, uh, and that's going to be hard to match. But there's no less desire in the squad. Uh, they're, 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 they're physically, they're in great shape and, uh, and they're, they're another year down the track with each other. So. There's no reason to suggest that we can't go and, and challenge for honours again this year. Just, it just gives us a little bit of a measure on, on where we're at. You know, I don't think we'll be the finished article in the first round, but, but um, you know, whatever the result is, uh, so long as our, our guys give their best and um, we'll improve off, off that result. And is the best being saved for last? If the four meetings of 2010 are anything to go by, you will not want to miss the whole derby. It certainly won't be for the faint-hearted. It's, it's been, a, been a long off season for us, of course. You know, losing to OK out led to Alex out of the competition, and uh, you know, a, a great way to start the season. You know, we'll be going out. We know what it means to the fans. We, we've had some good battles with them over the years. They've been always tough games, intense games, um, and I think Sunday will be no different. It's been a long time coming, so certainly a battle we're looking forward to, but one we're wary of because they're quality opponents. It's the only real derby in Super League. You, know, you have the other derbies, but. Hull has got two teams in one city and you know, all the players look forward to it, the fans really talk about it around the streets. 
everywhere you go, someone's saying something about it, so it's a massification for the city. That's it from me for now. Enjoy Millennium Magic. More next week.